symmetric key means during encryption and decryption same key will be used the algorithm was proposed by Rizindal so it is also as Rizindal encryption algorithm AS is replacement of DES in DES algorithm there are some weaknesses are there it is replaced by AES so AES is the perfect replacement of DES uh, AES works on block cipher techniques so uh, as per the principle of block cipher the plain text size and cipher text size must be same uh, input key it is given into the AES algorithm it is the same size of the plain text in AES the data length will be used uh, 128 bit 192 bit and 256 bit if you want to use 128 bit uh, encrypt data at that time you must use uh, key length will be 128 bit if you want to 192 bit uh, data encryption at that time key length will be 192 and same as for the 256 bits AES consists of multiple round of uh, encryption process so there are different key bits like that uh, if you want to 128 bit encryption and you will be used 128 bit key so you must have to perform 10 rounds for processing for the 128 bit keys so we can say 10 round of encryption if you want to use 192 bit key you must have to perform 12 round of uh, encryption process and if you use 256 bits uh, there are 14 round of encryption process next plain text plain text transform into matrix form for example uh, there is one example is given over here AES uses a matrix so this is my plain text so how can I uh, convert into matrix form so now you can see AES uses a matrix now there are two Z is filled over here why because I have to create 4 cross 4 matrix uh, and uh, I want to use 128 bit encryption so here you can see this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to uh, X it is 14 letters so 14 letter we can say it is 14 byte uh, uh, if I want to use 16 uh, byte it means 128 bit so I have used 2 Z because uh, it completes 16 characters over here now uh, all the character convert into numbers how can I convert uh, you can see over here in this table uh, from A to Z I have given uh, 0 to 25 decimal values then decimal values convert into hexadecimal value and hexadecimal value put over here now you can see A is 00, zero so its hexadecimal value is 00, zero. for E it is 04 now E it is 04 hexadecimal value S it is 12 now you can see over here s uh, decimal value is 18 and hexadecimal value is 12 and uh, remaining all the letters replaced by numbers now plain text size is 128 bits convert into 4 cross 4 matrix of bytes if i want to use 4 cross 4 matrix so i have i must have uh, 16 characters so i have 16 numbers therefore the first 4 byte of 128 input block occupy first column in the 4 cross 4 matrix of bytes now uh, in this uh, matrix you can see over here, uh, 0 0 this is 0 0 0 4 this is column wise matrix so 0 4 put over here and then 12 it is 12 14 it is 14 next 12 new column will be uh, generated over here from the 12 0 4 12 and 0 0 and remaining letters will be put in the different columns so the next four bytes occupy the second column and so on so uh, now you can see this is 128 bit matrix why uh, I will explain or uh, I am explaining here so 0 0 it means this is one byte so 2 byte 3 byte 4 byte 5 6 7 8 9 up to 16 byte 16 cross 8 is equal to 128 bit so this is 16 byte matrix so uh, this is 0 0 first 0 uh, left hand side 0 occupy 4 bits and right hand side 0 occupy 4 bits so total 8 bits we can say it is 1 byte AES operates on a 4 cross 4 column measure order matrix of bytes and this is called state array so this matrix uh, convert from plain text it is called state array 
now overall structure of AES encryption process shown in figure in this figure you can see over here this is plain text uh, plain text applied to the add round key and uh, different encryption rounds will be performed over here uh, we have already discussed uh, if you want to use 128 bit key uh, it performs 10 rounds we can say it is 0 to 9 if you want to use 12 uh, 192 bit it uh, performs 12 round and 256 uh, six bits it performs 14 rounds so for encryption each round consists of the following four steps now you can see over here uh, this is the first round or we can say uh, any of the round so first is substitution byte second one is shift rows third one is mix column fourth one is add round key in the last round uh, it may be 10th round 12th round or 14th round in last round uh, there are only three steps substitution by it as it is shift rows but mix column will be omitted or we can say mix column step will be removed in the last round and directly shift rows input given to the add round key and it generates cipher text and the size of cipher text must be same as plain text now we will discuss uh, this all the encryption uh, round uh, functions one by one so above steps or we can say this four steps is also called AES transformation function now discuss one by one first one sub bytes or substitution bytes AES defines a 16 cross 16 matrix of byte value called an S box so this is S box and this is 16 cross 16 uh, 0 to F over here again match over here 0 to F so this is column 0 to F this is 0 to F uh, rows that contains permutation of all possible 256 8-bit values each individual byte of state is mapped into new byte in the following way the leftmost four, by, four bits of the byte are used as a row value and rightmost four bits are used as column value so now in this uh, uh, matrix you can see over here the first uh, byte is EA this is uh, occupy one byte so this is 8 bit so E occupy 4 bit uh, and A occupy 4 bit so in S box you want to see the row of E and column of A and it generates new value so we can uh, substitute over here so the row and column value serves as index into S box select a unit uh, unique 8 bit output value now you can see here EA replaced by 87 how we will discuss later on for example the hexadecimal value EA reference row 9 sorry it is not uh, 9 it is E uh, this is my typing mistake and column 5 and this is not column 5 it is A this is my typing mistake so of the S box which contains the value 87 so EA mapped into 87 how it mapped uh, now we discuss so this is S box table and this is a previous matrix now how EA is replaced with 87 now check this is E now check this is the row of the E in S box and this is the column of S box is A now it intersect at 87 so EA replaced by 87 or we can say EA substitute by 87 same as 0 4 now you can see this is 0 4 0 throw and fourth column so it's substituted by f2 and so on now substitute uh, substitution bytes below table s box uh, below table is inverse s box so uh, previous table is s box and uh, use of inverse s box is used during the decryption process so how it works you can see over here this is one example uh, we have convert EA into 87 in previous example in this uh, example we have convert 87 into EA how it works this is a, a row of the inverse S box Here is the uh, leftmost bit so it is 8 and this is 7 this is the rightmost bit now it intersect at EA so I have put over here EA so this is the inverse S box second uh, AS second transformation function is shift row transformation uh, shift row transformation is called shift rows uh, now this is some rules of the shift rows transformation function uh, 
in given matrix or uh, we can say uh, row 1 there is no shifting so now you can see s00 s01 02 03 same over here 00 01 02 03 it means there is no shifting in row 2 one byte left shift so this is one byte left shift it means s11 uh, put over here s12 put over here s13 put over here now check S11, S12, S13 and S10 will be left circular shift and reached over here S10. For row 3 there are 2 byte left shift. Now in this figure you can show this is 2 byte. So S22 comes at uh, in place of S20. Now you can see over here this is 2 byte left shift. Row 4 is 3 byte left shift. In row 4 you can see over here this is 3 byte left shift. So S30 replaced by S33. Now you can see over here S33. So this is shift row transformation. The inverse shift row transformation called inverse shift rows. Uh, in inverse shift row transformation uh, rules is like that. Row 1 there is no shifting. Row 2 1 byte right shift. Row 3 2 byte right shift. And row 4 3 byte right shift. So performs the circular shift in the opposite direction. So here we perform left shift. So during inverse uh, uh, inverse shift row transformation it performs right shift. So this is one example. Now you can see over here. This is the original matrix shifting or uh, shifting of rows. Now you can see over here. This is the shifting of rows. Now inverse shifting it generates original matrix. So this is one example of shift row transformation now next one is mix column in mix column transformation mix column operates on each column individually now see in this uh, diagram uh, there is predefined matrix multiplied by state array and it generates new state array so how it process uh, so this is the process you can see over here how it multiplies for example of mix column uh, this is predefined matrix multiplied by this uh, state array matrix and it generates this matrix so here i have uh, one calculation done over here this is the first column so now you can see this is 2 multiplied by 87 3 multiplied by 6e 1 multiplied by 46 and 1 multiplied by a6 and it generates 47 so again 1 multiplied by 87 2 multiplied by 6e 3 multiplied by 46 and a multiplied by a6 it generates 37 now you can see this is 47 37 94 e d so this is our first column and uh, remaining calculation as so on fourth is add round key uh, this is add round key uh, this is our uh, new state array we have ge uh, generated after multiplication of predefined matrix or we can say this is the output of mix column matrix so in the forward add round key transformation called add round key here the Key bit is 128 bit of state error. Bit was XORed with the 128 bit of the round key. So this is 128 bit matrix. Uh, XOR with key matrix. This is 128 bit key matrix and it generates a uh, new matrix. So as shown in figure, the operation is viewed as a column wise operation between the four bytes of a state column and one word of the round key. It can also be viewed as a byte level operation. So this is our ciphertext. So uh, this is uh, here we perform only one encryption round. So if you want to use 128 bit key, so this all transfer function, uh, transformation function uh, works as 10, uh, it performs 10 rounds and finally it generates ciphertext. Now this is the AES encryption and decryption process. Uh, we have already discussed this diagram. Now this is uh, decryption diagram. So uh, same as or we can say inverse of the encryption process. So ciphertext input is the add round key same as the encryption. So uh, it given to the first round and this is last round. In last round you can see a mix column it not used and same as in last round mix column will be omitted. So it performs decryption and finally generates plain text. So AE 